Welcome back. We're off to game 13 now. Second to last game in the main part of the season. We are still undefeated, which is kind of crazy. 12 to 0, 20 to 0, 18 to 0, 33 to 3. Yeah, we've we've had some crazy good games up to this point. And we're up against the White Sox now. I'm so excited, guys. We're playing against the Sox, which means Marky gets an even bigger stat boost today. <laughs> he already gets the stat boost from Billy Jean. And now uh, I'm expecting Marky to just be cracked beyond belief this game. I really hope I'm not disappointed. I hope we're not disappointed here, Marky. And this is our last game at the Dirt Yard for this season so without further ado let's begin so we yes we've also shut them out completely for the last three games so that mm, that's that's just the icing on the cake all right let's see so pablo's good marky doesn't even seem to be as good as he normally is he actually got a fielding decrease today oh do his do his socks increases override his billy jean increases is that how it works i thought they stacked I guess not. So he's probably just mediocre. Never mind. Vicky's fine. So is Pete. So is Angela. So is Ronnie. Toff's a little better at fielding, which is great. Billie Jean's her usual self. Okay. So nothing crazy. No need to change up anything because last uh, game at the Dirt Yards worked really, really well. Let's see who we're going up against, shall we? <laughs> yeah. We've got Trent Sizemore. He's pretty good. Very fast. Decent at batting. Really good at fielding. Randolph Glukert. He's good at batting. Uh, Ezra Travolta. Okay, so John Travolta's cracked today. We got to watch out for her. Jay Green. Great. One of the super capped guys. Definitely, he's a danger. Betty Houston. Oh, thank goodness. I was wondering when we'd get Betty. <laughs> thank goodness. So, okay, Betty's the Angela. No, Betty's not quite the Angela clone. And we got our boy Reese. Everybody, Reese is here. And he's top of the lineup, so we'll be seeing him quite a lot. We got Jim Kiley. We got Frank Thomas, the giant kid. And then Francis Bluer. <laughs> Okay, so we got some pretty scary players today. Francis J. Green, uh, Ezra Travolta, Randolph are all kind of cracked at batting. Betty could be good at batting, too. She's about this on par with Angela, so that could be scary. But thankfully, it looks like Reese and Trent. Oh, never mind. We got, they got quite a few fast players. Okay. Well, presumably, Frank is going to swap out for Betty. And the nice thing, guys, Reese, as a catcher, does not have a good arm. He has an okay arm, which means there should be lots of stealing happening today. <laughs> this will be fantastic. All right, game 13, last time at the Dirt Yards. We got Reese, we got Betty, we got Frank. We got a bunch of crazy players today. What will happen? Who knows? But I have a strong feeling we're going to come out on top. Welcome to the most fun you'll have all day. This is Sunny Day, and my cohort, Vinny the Gooch, ready to report every bit of the action here at Dirt Yards. The laughs, the tears, the excitement, the fears, the... Okay, okay, I think they get the picture. <laughs> That's a rare one. The Chicago White Sox and the humongous Melonheads. This season has been solid for these kids. They've been playing some serious baseball out there, and they have a lot to be proud of. Not to mention, it's looking good for the playoffs. I think we're all ready to play some baseball. The crowd is on their feet now, stomping and clapping for the best team in the BBL, the Melonheads. Yeah, we are undisputably the best team in the BBL. Also, I just want to point out, there was some Chicago team that's like, we need a cool name for our team. What, what should we name our team? The White Sox. That's genius. Nobody's done that before. It's probably because it's really dumb. <laughs> Chicago White Sox. Well, there well, there we go. It's, it's good enough to be trademarked, whereas apparently the Humongous Melonheads were not good enough to be trademarked. But I'm not as scared at all. Chicago White Sox. They got nothing on us. Yeah, sure, they have some power hitters. Sure, they got some fast players. Sure, they got Betty. Sure, they got Reese. I don't care. We're going to play some baseball, and we're going to beat the pants off of the White Sox. We're going to knock their socks off. Oh, yeah. You all wanted it. You've all been asking for him. Well, he has answered the call. It's the one and only Reese Worthington. <laughs> Oops. All right, Reese, let's see what you got. Let's go. You're the crowd favorite. I gotta admit, Reese definitely surprised me. Pleasantly surprised me when I had him on my team. But I still don't think he's very good. 
Feel free to prove me wrong, though. Let's drag Reese out. <laughs> Sorry, Reese, but I I want to win. <laughs> Darn it. I wish I had an asthma inhaler that sounded like a balloon. Oh no. It's John Travolta. And we got the zigzag. It's not a great pitch. Alright, that was a good hit by Travolta. Okay, that's uh... I mean, she is blind, so... Oh yuck, it's Jay Green! And he's ready to get John Travolta home with his almost capped stats. Yikes. Okay. Pete, you gotta grab the ball, buddy. Oh my gosh, the speed on him, though. Okay, they got some strong players. I gotta admit, I am a little worried, because Betty's very good at batting. At least as far as her stats are concerned. And she has full stats right now. Uh oh. Come on. Okay. That's two. Let's get one more. I am not throwing the zigzag because they could definitely hit that and that would be real bad. No! Oh! Betty, no! That's not good. Oh boy. But, uh, that was. I gotta hand it to her. That was impressive. Whew. Wow. Betty, I thought we were friends. Good night, DX. Thanks for joining in. Have a great night. Icarus, welcome. Hey, thank you for joining in. We got a good crowd tonight. A lot of new people. I appreciate it. This is, okay, this is a bit of a risk, but they won't be expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Yes! Skilled strikeout. Good job, AD. Oh, good. We got the crazy ball. Hooray for the worst pitch in the game. <laughs> okay, that should be an out, right? Oh, come on, Angela. Well, if Angela hadn't been a wuss, that would have been an out. Oh, no! It's Big Head McGee. Yikes, how does this kid allow it in the Little League? Jeez Louise. Who let this kid on the team? Oh, Pete! You're off your game, buddy! Oh, my. If Randolph gets a home run. If Randolph gets a home run, that is going to be real rough. And Angela's already, like, gassed. This is not good. Let's try the off-speed super heat pitch. Jeez. Okay, thank you. That, you play, that was crazy. Angela got her free outs with strikeouts, which is impressive. There we go. That's what we're looking for. You've got... Are you serious? We didn't make it? They had that good of an arm? That's not good. Because this is the best part of our lineup. And if Pete's not on first, Vicky's not going to have as easy of time. Come on, Vicky. We need a single here. Okay. Um, since when does Reese have that good of an arm? Not when I had him on my team. You call that helping catch up? That's an out. That wasn't even my fault. <laughs> my guys just sucked. This is a rough start, folks. Get out, Jim. There we go. Angela's getting crazy strikeouts, but uh, <laughs> it's not exactly much of a comfort at this point. Let's let Reese show us what he can do. Oh, okay. He he was gonna say turn on the heat. We'll turn on the heat for you, Vinny. Come on, Billy G. What? Are, why are my guys so bad? Oh, that's a mistake. Toph, get this. Toph, I don't care if you are blind. You can feel the vibrations in the earth. You should have gotten that. Angela, if you had let Ronnie get that, that would have been an out. Yes, you did, Ronnie. If only you did that last time. Hey, look, Betty! I want the juice. 
I'll fireball Betty to get her out. If, okay. That should be sufficient. There's no way she's getting to first. There we go. Okay, thank you. Toph, you got the power. You're not very good at fielding, but you got the power. Okay, it's got the height. Oh, that's big, but that's, I think, not quite enough, maybe. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Bounced off the car back in the field! <laughs> good job, Toph. We really needed that. And now the ball just phases for the, the cinder block barrier. Okay, thank goodness Toph was able to do that. That, that was huge. <laughs> it bounced off the cabbage cart bag, and that is canon. Alright, that's huge. I know it was only one point, we're still behind, but that, that narrows the gap. Okay, right to the adult. That's an out. I wasn't expecting Angela to do much. All right, Gretchen, just hit it, hit it far enough away from Reese that he's not able to throw it in time. Okay, actually, I'll take it. Gretchen, if you can just hit it, that would be that would be pretty good. But I'd love for you to get a single. Okay, that's a lot of height for Gretchen. Actually, push her over, push her over. Darn it! All right, Ronnie. Bet on it, bet on it. Let's do it. That's not even close to 200 gazillion miles. Come on. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on! I mean, realistically, I wouldn't have gotten a point that any anyways, but I at least wanted to advance to Marky. So we don't have Marky, then Billy Jean the next inning. All right, Vinny, you haven't steered me wrong yet. Okay, Vinny's always right! Okay, that's right to Marky. No, that's right to Marky. Why in the world would you throw that to Angela instead of throwing it to Billie Jean? You suck, Marky. Dog on it, Marky. To Pablo? Is he gonna catch it, though? Oh, come on, Pablo! Randolph. It's okay, though, because their last player isn't very good. All, my team is just collectively groaning, like, are we suck? And we, and you know what? We do. We do suck. I'll turn on the heat and smoke that batter and then throw a fireball, maybe? Never mind. Cool. Got him out. They didn't score. Shoo! I had some good energy behind it, Marky. But you, you gotta, you gotta put. It. You know what? Maybe we should grounder it with Marky, because I don't want to hit it past Reese very much. Hee haw! Bounce around, dog. Got it. Why does that girl have like a capped arm strength? Why can't they just hit a grounder a little bit away from Reese? Why do we have to hit it to their characters with cracked bats <laughs> and cracked cannons? This is very frustrating. Yeah, that's an out. Right to her. And she's. Yeah. I don't know who that lady is, but she's like a perfect fielder. So that's not good. Ooh! Okay. Bounce around him. Nope. Yes! Yes! And it's not out of play! Yes! Okay, we can't go home because Frank is cracked at throwing. That's a triple for Pete, though. Alright, Vicky. We need you to get on first. Vicky, we need you to get a single. We need to get another point. Okay, we gotta hit line drive. We gotta hit line drive. We gotta get it a little bit away from Reese. Or hope for a walk. Oh, of course. What is she waiting for? Well, excuse me for it being 98% outside the strike zone and me not wanting to swing at it. That looks pretty good. That's good! Yes! Okay, that's huge. We're only one point down now. I can work with this. And Pablo could instantly Uno reverse and have us be one point up. Oh! Not a home run. But that's gonna drop. Ground rule double? We will take that! Toph Bayfont's up next, and she got a home run on, in the second inning. Right, that's a pop fly. But nobody's there! 
They played out for Toph because she's Toph. <gasps> yes! We tied! <laughs> we tied it up. Oh, that's so big. Ooh! Oh, Betty missed it. I mean, it's still on out, but that's fine. All right, Reese. Your double last inning was a fluke. All right? Don't expect to do it again. <laughs> All right, well, you know what, Reese? <laughs> Watch the trash talk. Reese won't be. Okay, no, no, no. Always go with Vinny's suggestion. Unless he tells you to use a special ball. Okay. He hit it, but... <laughs> yuck, 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 you're out! We take the pressure and just go away. <laughs> okay. Oh, Vicky Kawaguchi with the crazy behind-the-head catch! That was great! We're gonna fireball to get him out. Hadouken! Heck yes. Take that, J Green. And Angela was just up at bat, so it doesn't matter if she's guessed now. Too high, probably. No, of course not. Oh. Alright, Silver Jr. Going market Marky. I think I realized why we're not playing so well this season. We haven't channeled the frog power yet. Marky? Marky, channel the power of the frogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, Marky. Frog power? Hee haw! Call that frog power? Oh, hey! Frog power worked! Yeehaw! <laughs> we got all first! Ooh! Marky got a head start. Run, Marky, run. Run, Marky, run. Oh my gosh! Marky, go deferred. Yikes, are you kidding me? Why, do they, why does everybody... Why does everybody on their team have a cannon? No, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Just get it. We weren't we weren't scoring anyways it's pretty well. Hey look, Betty! There's no okay. That's not a home run, but it's probably a ground rule double. No, it's not a ground rule double. We could still get her out. Oh my gosh. Did we oh my gosh, we still got her out! Because she's gassed beyond belief! Because she's thrown like 50 pitches in a row without drinking a juice box. We have two, but we've drank a juice box. Okay. Yeah. Stay there! Yes! Okay, Trent's gone on first base twice. I should have let her go. Nah, uh uh <laughs> Nah, uh Anakin! Let's get Trent out. Trent, you're not getting on first. You're not getting on first again. Get out! Okay. Yes! This is great. They're at the weak part of their lineup for the last inning. And we have two opportunities to get a point. And we're at the strong part of our lineup. All right, Pete. My son, we can do this. Pete, my son, we can. you can get on base. <laughs> okay, Dad. Well, you won't get on base if you swing at that. Remember what we told you about calculating the trajectory of the ball. I don't. <laughs> that was not a strike! <laughs> that was so far down! <laughs> there we go! That's a single. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it going to second. They have two good arms. But Pete can steal second with Reese as the catcher. So how is Betty not off the mound at this point? How? Oh. Oh, that's great. There's nobody at home. Okay, Vicky stay at first. We get a point. We are now in the lead. We are in a very good position. Okay. Oh, Frank is running away from the ball now. And it goes past Reese. It's out of play. We get another point. <laughs> Oh, doggone it! <laughs> Reese, you missed the ball! I'm sorry! I was getting my inhaler! Oh boy, it's the MVP of the game, Toph Bay Foam. Okay, I'm confident we've won now. Okay, a zigzag around Betty. That's, that works. Okay, that's okay. We advanced, Pablo. Let's go, Angela. There, finally. Oh, they put Jay Green on. 
I mean, Jay's very skilled, so that's actually probably a smart move. Okay. That should be an easy catch for Jay Green. Yeah, Mr. Maxed out at fielding. Don't don't be such a hassle. We just it would be great if we could get another point. If we could get double their points, that would be awesome. Ah, she just always hits it. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> it's it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> You might as well try. Now, nah, darn it. That's okay. We're two points up. And they've got... Okay, Frank and Randolph are scary at batting. Jim sucks, though. So as long as they don't get, like, two home runs, we should be good. We might see Reese again. I wouldn't mind that. I would mind if we get to the others after Reese, though. Shut up, Frank. Nobody cares. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Strike him out! Randolph, the red-nosed Glukert. A big freeze I will throw. Maybe. Alright, sweet. There's no chance he's getting on first. Look at that. Look how slow he is. You're out! Alright. I think that's game. Jim would have to pull off one heck of a crazy uh, maneuver. Alright, you know what? Raid Pirate, just for you, we'll give Reese one more chance. We'll give Reese one more chance. It's a little... It's a tiny bit risky. Not really, though. All right, let's see if I regret that. Three, th every, it's point one six six. Okay, like he's not getting on, <laughs> even though he got a double. Let's just ignore the fact that he got a double. <laughs> to be fair, actually, wait. Unless Reese ridiculously wallops it and everybody sucks. Like Jim is super slow. There's no way he's getting the second. So never mind. This is a risky. Go, good energy, Reese. Great. Super great. Let's see if he can hit the right hook. Oh, he did hit the right hook. Good job! I'm sorry, but uh, yuck, 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 you're out, and that's game. <laughs> sorry, Reese. The Melonhead dominates 5 3. These kids have really earned this victory. They played their hearts out and then some. They can all go home proud of their performances today. Live from Dirt Yards, this has been Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch. See you next time! Well, there we go. Chicago White Sox 3, Humongous Melonheads 5. That was a close one, but yeah, like the White Sox, like a couple of other teams this season, they got a bunch of points first inning, and then they just couldn't keep up with our continual points throughout that. That was a close game, though. That was a bit of a scary one. Angela's 57. Okay, yeah. Angela's clinch strikeouts. There's no way Colleen Clinker's getting more than 10 in this next final game. Like, there's no chance that happens. Ah, oh, darn it, though. We need... We need... We need Kenny Kawaguchi, Felix Grant, and whoever's number 11 to all get one extra error for Marky to get off that leaderboard of shame, though.